Will the skinny jean finally make its return? What cut of jeans is in? Are we still wearing wide leg jeans? Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanika E and in today's video, we are talking spring trends, specifically spring jean trends. So that sounds like something you may be interested in. Just keep on watching. Now, I have been hearing a lot about jeans for 2024. Will the skinny jean finally make its return? What cut of jeans is in? Are we still wearing wide leg jeans? We're gonna be answering all of those questions in today's video. And we're also gonna be talking exactly why all of these questions are very important and staples for your wardrobe. So let's go ahead and kick off today's video with my OOTD. So this is a completely thrifted outfit. Yes, you heard me correct, this outfit is thrifted. So on the top, this is a jean jacket that I picked up from the men's department at the thrift store. I got this from Park Avenue Thrift. It was probably about $6 or so. I just cut it in half and cropped it. This is like an oversized jacket and I love the fit of this jacket. It serves me well as a long length, but I just went ahead and cropped it because I love the way it sits right at the top of my jeans. Now, speaking of jeans, these are one of my favorite pair of jeans currently in my wardrobe, and they are some vintage Jabold jeans. I've mentioned these multiple times on the channel before. Girl, I wear my clothes, okay? That's what you're gonna find out very quickly over here. I wear my clothes because I only buy items that I absolutely love. And these jeans, I love. I love the men's like overall kind of boxy fit, but they do fit in the waist. Let me know if you guys want a few style hacks for how to get your men's trousers or pants to fit in the waist. But what makes these particular pair of pants so distinct and just so, good <laughs> okay is the stitching in the jeans we're going to talk about that a little bit later on but you can see all throughout this particular pair of denim jeans we have stitching intricate details down the leg we even have like a place on the knees just very very good jeans and right now i haven't left the house yet so i'm not sure which shoes bag and sunnies i'll be throwing on but you guys should be seeing in the cutaway this is a look girls i love the simplicity of it you guys know one of my style pillars is elevated simplicity and this is it all right ladies let's jump right into this video with jean trend number one and that is going to be puddle jeans so if you are like me a good wide leg jean is not going anywhere do not let them fool you <laughs> wide leg jeans are here to stay but they're going to be a little bit more relaxed so not so much like tapered in the waist and then kind of all the way down but like a 90s style jean and so the jean that i'm going to be showing you guys is new in from h m i love these jeans I picked these up in a size 12, which is my normal size. What I like about these jeans is that they are gray. I have been loving, when I say loving gray this season, I used to despise gray, but it's something about gray that is just really eating right now. So this overall silhouette, this is called the baggy loose fit mid waist jean. So again, you are going to see a little bit more of a mid rise versus high rise. You can subscribe to that if you choose, but I'm just telling you what you're gonna see. And I love the fact that this has like this built in string within the waist. So that is one of the style hacks. You simply take a shoestring and kind of wove it around the back part of your jeans to kind of make it fit nice and snug on the waist. But the fact that that trend has kind of gotten down to high street and now you can see it kind of built into the jean is so, so good. I love, again, just the relaxed waist on it. It's not too tight. I don't have to worry about my little mom pouch poking out. Love these jeans. 
jeans and I'm gonna be pairing these jeans back with another new in item and it is going to be a cardigan. So this is the cardigan that I plan on pairing back with the gray jeans. And yes, we are serving a nice monochromatic look. I have always loved a good monochromatic look and they are still very much on trend this season. So this look is giving me all of my life, okay? I picked this up from The Gap. It was on sale, I think for $39.99. If it is still available, I will link it down below. This actually did come from the women's department, but the cut of this really screams men's department. I love that it has this G here and it just has 1969 down the size. Very relaxed, very oversized. Gap does have a regular short and tall. I picked this up in the tall so that it can go past my butt. So if I wanna wear this with like leggings and like a good boot or something like that, in the latter parts of the winter, I can do so. But I really love, again, this gray on gray moment. Let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments down below. On to the next jean trend, and that is going to be turn up jeans. Now stay with me. <laughs> so we're simply talking about a large cuff at the bottom of your pant. I've seen the perfect pant that really channels this trend on Zara. However, they have been sold out of my size for a while, but I decided to go ahead and get this similar look with one of my thrifted pair of jeans. You guys can do this as well. Any pair of jeans, you can just kind of flip them up or turn them up to get this look. So I'm going to be styling this particular pair of jeans here. These are vintage from the men's department. I'm telling you, if you want a nice, relaxed, good jean, go to the men's department, thrifted and you will not be disappointed. I say thrifted because of the fact that their jeans are like real jeans. None of that overtly like stretchy material, really, really thin. We're talking 100% denim, 100% cotton. And as you can see on the bottom here, I have just cuffed the jean. And in order to get this to stay, all you need is like <laughs> some old school starch. I will never forget watching my dad line up his seams and starch the hell out of his pants. And so putting a little bit of starch down here on the bottom is going to help that cuff to stay. I'm gonna be styling these particular jeans jeans back with one of my favorite tops for this time of year and it is this gorgeous cropped Calvin Klein top here. I've talked about this before on my channel when I did my denim video. This denim on denim look is just everything. Denim on denim in the spring is so so good. You can do denim on denim all year round but denim on denim in the spring is just really really good. It's very classic. Now for the earlier parts of the spring, you can just throw on a nice black boot, some black sunnies, a red lip and a black bag, and it is going to look so, so good, so elevated, so chic. But then as it gets a little bit warmer, this is a perfect backdrop for a colored bag. So we are going to be seeing nice, rich, like mustard, yellow colors, oranges and deep browns this spring and so all of those colors would look really really good with this denim look so again if you like this look girl go into the closet get your favorite pair of jeans flip them up starch them and have that nice cuff this is going to help you to accentuate your shoes and it is going to be a vibe all right ladies moving on to my next look and my next jean trend and that is going to be seamed jeans now i talked about this a little bit with my ootd but it's something about having a seam running through your pants that really just helps to elevate them it keeps them from looking flat you know in previous years we kind of went with a little bit of a distressed jean to give that same vibe like just a little bit something different in your pant versus just having like a solid denim well this season we are going to be playing with seams and so for this trend i'm going to be showing you guys this beautiful pair of jeans here now I did pick these up from I believe cider so cider is one of those brands that have been all over Instagram ads and so I decided to give them a try what I love about this again this is a mid-rise jean but as you can see it has the seam running all the way down the pant this is also like an indigo blue which is also trending this season as well and look at that nice thick like built-in cuff 
you're also going to see the hem lines on your jeans get a little bit higher again I mentioned this in previous videos but this is going to help to elevate your shoe so whether you have a bomb sneaker game some gorgeous heels or some loafers with socks this length of jean is going to serve you well so you know me I love a good blazer so I'm going to be pairing these jeans back with the blazer so this is the blazer that I'm gonna be pairing those jeans back with. I love that they have a nice strong shoulder and I love that this is a linen blend. So again, as we enter into the warmer months, we are gonna be changing up our fabrics a little bit and I love this linen blend. So it gives me all the feels of a nice linen piece, but it doesn't have too many wrinkles in it <laughs> if that makes sense so i love just how chic and simple this look is i'm going to be pairing it back with these new in glasses here girl get into it i was watching nori's video and she showed these beautiful gucci frames i immediately <laughs> immediately went on the hunt for a dupe and I found these at Sunglass Spot. So they have this nice tortoise shell lining and then that one strip of gold there at the front. Very, very cute. And it's gonna be the perfect statement for this, again, very simple outfit to kind of elevate it a little bit. I would have loved to have this also in like a tinted frame. So a nice yellow would have been good as well. But I really, really like these. They were under $10. If you're interested, they will be linked in the description bar down below, as well as any of the other shoppable links that I have for you guys today. All right, moving on to the next jean trend, and that is going to be an off-white cream jean. So the particular jeans that I'm gonna show you guys today, they kind of encompass a lot of the trends that I've already been telling you. So not only are these particular pair of jeans cream, or off-white they also have a seam running down the middle and they have a slight crop to them as well and they are these jeans here from a new day now these are old I believe I picked these up last year however if they are still available I will link them or I will find similars but again we have that nice mid-rise and then as you can see there is a seam running down the length of these jeans. I love that they also have like a very mild balloon type shape to them. I've seen similars at Cost and Mango, but again, I got these from Target by the brand A New Day. Really, really love the overall silhouette of this particular pair of jeans. Now, when we are talking about jeans, the reason why I wanted to do this whole video is jeans anchor your fit. It also helps to give your fit like its overall silhouette and shape. So oftentimes individuals outfits can kind of fall flat because of their jeans. Because the jeans is the foundation to the outfit, if you have just like a very slim fitting jean and then you have a very slim top, it's just one dimensional. So as you can see with a lot of the jeans that I have, they have a little volume in there. They have some texture with the seams and they really help to make the outfit but back to this look here we're gonna go monochromatic again so I'm gonna be pairing these back with a thrifted tan blazer I picked this up several years ago from the men's department Park Avenue thrifts I pretty much get all of my blazers from the men's department again they're just structurally sound they're made better better materials they're not flimsy you're going to love them, so try them out. And again, for the first part of the spring, when it's still kind of warm, I'm gonna be pairing mine back with just a brown and some nice aviators. It is a vibe, okay? But once it gets cooler outside, you can throw in some kind of baby blues, play with a little bit of variations of shades of oranges. It is going to be, again, very, very chic, very sexy, very elevated on to the fourth jean trend and that is simply going to be a cropped 90s mom jean now i know these jeans have been around forever but they are back this year again because they just look so good with a good loafer a good ballet flat again if you're a sneaker girl they look great with sneakers so the pair that i'm going to be showing you guys you have seen before and it is this beautiful thrifted pair that i got from again park avenue thrift 
If you are interested in Park Avenue Thrifts, I have several videos on my channel where I take you guys into the store with me, kind of like thrift with me style. I'll link some of those videos below, but these are vintage Lee jeans. And again, I love the wash. Again, we have a mid rise, but these are going to be more of a tighter silhouette and it tapers towards the bottom. Again, typical 90s style jean. So I'm gonna style them as such. I'm just gonna be putting this on with a crisp white button up but on the bottom i'm going to be throwing in one of the trends that i told you guys about in my last trend video and that is going to be socks so i'm going to be pairing these socks back with a flat particularly a mary jane ballerina flat and i just love how effortless this look looks you can go to the coffee shop in this look you can go to the bookstore in this look you can meet up for a lunch date i just love how casual and effortless it looks it looks like you just kind of rolled out the bed and threw something on but we did have a little bit of effort and we are on trend all right ladies the fifth and final jean trend that we're going to be talking about today is the barrel leg jeans I love a good barrel leg jean. Now, a barrel leg jean is very similar to a balloon cut jean, but they're not the same. So the balloon cut jean is going to give a little bit more of like the cream pair that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. This particular pair I featured before on my channel and they are from Akira. If they are still available, I will link them in the description bar down below for you guys. But I love just how extra these jeans are and so as you can see here there is that nice barrel leg at the bottom now my only gripe about this is these are a little bit too tight in the waist for me i would like a little bit more of a relaxed waist so we are still on the hunt I fell in love with the Citizens jean. That is the original jean that had the balloon cut. You could find them on, I believe, Roval. So if those are available, I will link them. They have some beautiful ones on Free People as well. But a nice barrel leg jean is just going to be everything. It's very relaxed. It's very fashion forward. It screams it girl. And these are one of my favorite pair of jeans all right ladies that is it for me this week hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's video if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it really does help me out and helps youtube to push my videos out to a larger audience if you enjoyed my vibe please think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave and i will see you guys next week for more fashion content bye y'all